Hey, hey, you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I plan out my trail rides and specifically do a tutorial for you on how to use all trails. Now, I talked about this in my last video on how I conditioned for trail, which I'll put down in the description if you haven't had a chance to see that. Just to give you a heads up, the way I do things is a little bit of legwork in advance, but I promise it is totally worth it uh, because not only will it familiarize you with the parks that you'll be riding on a regular basis. You'll know them like the back of your hand pretty quickly. It'll also kind of equip you to read maps no matter where you go. So if you travel out of your area, you'll feel a lot more confident when it comes to figuring out those trails. It's also super helpful for horse camping. Um, when you go horse camping, there's a lot to manage. There's a lot to think about. And the last thing you want to do is be pulling out a map, trying to figure out in the middle of your ride if you're on the right trail where to go, if you're lost, how to get back to camp. This kind of has helped me with a lot of that stuff so that I can literally just get in the saddle and enjoy my trail rides and not have to worry as much about where I'm at. Because we're looking at detailed maps on this video, I recommend upgrading the quality of the video so that you can see all the detail, which you can do by clicking the top right on mobile, hitting advanced and selecting 1080p. So before I even jump into all trails, the first thing I will do is I will look at a PDF map of the park. And sometimes you can find good maps in the organic search. Clicking on images, you can usually find a few different maps to choose from. And if all else fails, you know, you can always go to the department website for whoever manages that park. And usually you can hunt around and find a good PDF map that way. So I'll demonstrate with a couple of different parks. The most important thing when I'm looking at a map is I don't get lost in all the trail names first. I try to get an overall sense of how that park is laid out. And I look for shapes. For me, shapes are a whole lot easier to remember than individual trails. And it kind of gives me an overall sense of that park. So this one is a really straightforward, I think, easy map to read, even though there's no topographical information. So we don't know where the valleys are. We don't know where the ridges are. Uh, but we do know that there's basically this long parallel line and this one here. So Steer Ridge and Wagon Road and Hunting Hollow Road are parallel to each other. And then in between them are all of these little purple trails. And I can tell you from experience, because I ride this park a lot, Hunting Hollow Road is the valley floor. And this uh, combination wagon and steer ridge road up here are the ridges. And all of these purple trails will take you up and down from the valley floor to the top of the ridge. Here's an example of another park. And you can see that we've got kind of these circular shapes here. So we've got a big round circle at the bottom. We've got this big loop here on the left. You can see there's kind of a skinny loop in the middle. There's another loop here on the right. One of my favorite parks to horse camp at, which is Joseph Grant County Park. We can see, if you look at the shadows here, that this is a whole bunch of mountain range here on the right. This center part here where the San Felipe Creek and the lake run through, usually where lakes and streams run, uh, tend to be valley floors. And then over here on the left, we've got more shadows. We've got more mountain range. The general layout of this park, although it takes a little bit more time to see, is that we've got a ridge here on the left. We've got a ridge here on the right. We've got a valley floor down the middle. And then we've got all of these trails cascading out from that center valley floor to take us up to the ridges. So before you overwhelm yourself looking at all the little details and the map legend, I would just try to get an overall sense of the shapes and the topography of the park first. After that, then you can start focusing on some of the details. So on this park, they have dual use and multi-use trails. So the next priority for me is to figure out what trails I can actually ride. And in, in this particular map, the dual use is dotted, the multi-use is solid. So pretty much everything here is fine for equestrians. Going back to the Joseph Grant Park, this is the Parks Department website map, has a little more detail. Here on the legend, we can see that hiking equestrian and bicycling and hiking equestrian trails have solid lines and then dots with a solid line and dots. So really the only trails on this map that we can't uh, take our horse on are the dotted trails. The other things I'll pay attention to are if there's an equestrian staging area. Unfortunately, on this particular map, there isn't one. This map utilizes trail junctions, which are little circular dots, and I'll show you here in a second why that's helpful. Here is an inset map, and these are really useful for very crowded areas. 
And here's where we can see the equestrian campground. So I basically am looking for either the equestrian campground or the equestrian staging area because that will tell me where I'm going to start my all trails map. So I can see here because this map uses junctions, it's around junction 56 or 57. And if I zoom out, it'll be easy for me to find that. So here I can see I'm going to be about here when I start my maps. So let's go to all trails. So here we are at all trails. You will need to create an account and sign in. And then you're going to go up to saved and click on create map. And that will take you to a general map of your area. Uh, this is the only thing about all trails I wish they made a little bit easier to have like a search function in here where you can just zero in right on the park. Um, so you will have to kind of figure out geographically about where you're going to click in. Let's do Rancho Cañada since they had some nice easy shapes for us to follow. So this is our map and it kind of helped to have that layout because now when we're looking at all this detail, it's much easier to pick it out. It's like picking a constellation out of the sky. And All Trails does a pretty good job of um, calling out peaks and bathrooms and mapping out the trails pretty well. So it also helps to kind of zero in on some of these icons. You're going to click on draw on map and you can actually choose what you want the color of your path to be. Um, I just stick with the default red. Up here, you've got a couple of options. The default is hiking. Unfortunately, there is no horseback riding, so I just stick with hiking. And then I usually leave a uh, smart routing turned on. Smart routing will basically kind of, as we're clicking along the path here, it will just choose the predetermined trail route as the path to go, as opposed to you having it to draw it by hand. So I find smart routing to be mostly helpful. It's been very rare that I've had to turn it off. So I'm going to zoom in down here to where the parking lot would be. And you can see here's the parking lot. Here's the equestrian staging area. So what you do is you'll click once and that'll be your starting point. That's the green dot. And then you can literally just click anywhere along the path here. And every time you click, it'll create one of these gray dots. Those gray dots are actually little waypoints down here and you can add more waypoints. I don't really pay attention to that feature, but for example, if you wanted to add in um, a water trough or something really important and then you're sharing this map with someone else, that's kind of a way for you to point out features along the trail. But again, I really never use it. You can click along the path of the trail. You can also click from red square to red square. So you can see all throughout this map here there's a at every junction there's a red square so you can be clicking along there you can see over here on the left it is keeping track of the distance for you so right now we're at 2.69 miles and 620 feet of elevation gain and let's say you're you're wanting to do a slightly longer loop now what we could do, do is we could keep clicking all the way over here and then hit close loop and that would give us just this one loop down here you can hit basically a backspace which is this undo button here and you can go back to the last couple of points that you picked and then i'm going to take us along the top of this ridge here i don't know if you guys remember but this was all one big ridge i'm going to click over here and down to here and then I'm going to, again, you could click yourself all the way back down to your starting point, or you could just go over here and click close loop. Boom. 8.3 miles. Great. 1693 for elevation. So this is going to be a lot of work for my horse. And the other thing I love about all trails down here is this little chart that tells me my grade at each point. I tend to like to go up steeper grades and down less steep grades. It's pretty steep on this end and maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to invert it so that my horse is doing all the hard work up front and then we have kind of a nice gradual cool off in the end. What I can do is I can hit reverse right here and that will invert my path and you can see down here that the grade changed as well. Um, and again you can back up and undo what you've done Maybe you decide that's too steep. You don't want to be that aggressive. So you back off and you reroute your path to go this way instead. And then you hit close loop and you see, well, that's that's a little less aggressive. It's 7.12 miles and only 1,500 feet of elevation gain. Again, you can reverse that out and play around with 
what you think is going to be a fun ride. You can put a name on your map and you can hit save and it'll save your map so that then when you go up into your saved and click on my maps, you can basically build up a really nice collection for yourself of different maps that you will then reference on your phone. And let's, let's get to how you would do that. So you're going to go into the All Trails app and click on the Saved tab at the very bottom. And then under the List tab at the very top, you're going to select My Maps. That should bring up the map we just created. You can click on that. You can also download an offline version of the map at the green button at the bottom. They have different versions. But if you've got reception where you're going, you can just click at the three dots on the top right and click on Navigate Using This Route. I like to slide on over and, of course, choose horseback riding. And then you are basically ready to hit that green start button when you are getting on your horse. The app will track you along the route you have planned and show your planned elevation and your recorded elevation. And if you need to pause the recording in the middle of a ride to dismount or use the restroom or check on something, you actually need to hold down that green button until you see the two buttons that say finish or resume. And then when you want to restart the tracking, you can hit the resume button or finish if you are done with your ride. When I am done with my rides, I hit finish and All Trails will ask me a series of questions, most of which I don't answer. I do rename it something unique. And then you've got a list of rides that you've done and it allows you to go in and see your data, how long you rode, the elevation gain, your pace. Uh, this is the stuff that's gold. This is why I love this app is it allows me to keep track of our progress like this. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or if there was something that maybe wasn't quite clear, please don't hesitate to leave me a question or a comment down below. And then, of course, you can always reach out to us on Instagram at Fame the Drum Horse. We will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy trails.